why is communication services a laggard right now? I'm looking at some of the stocks um, in this sector, looking at Verizon in the red, also looking at AT&T uh, trading lower. What's leading to these big moves to the downside for these big names? Yeah, the sector's been down for the quarter, uh, and, it's, and especially in the last uh, early days of June. Um, partially, it's been over fears over free cash flow. It's fears over, over some financing with Frontier. Um, but more recently, starting on June 1st, there was, a, there was an article about Amazon potentially entering the wireless market. We think those fears are, are really overblown. Uh, in general, if you look historically, Amazon doesn't do as well in, in when they get inner markets that are, that are not as healthy, such as wireless. And we think the, the odds of that are low, plus the companies have all kind of denied that. But that did shake things up, right? So that, that hurts. And then particularly for AT&T, there were a lot of fears about their free cash flow after the first quarter earnings. We think that's overblown. We think that the free cash flow rebounds in the back half of the year, and it's a really good buying opportunity. And then if you look at another name that well, you like a lot, Frontier, uh, it's just been down lately on fears that the company is going to issue some securitized debt. Don't know what the pricing is. Uh, uh, with fears over over a financing overhang, it's it's dragged the debt down. We think that's uh, that's a really an overblown fear. We see them pretty well capitalized. They did lock in some additional financing for the rest of their build. Uh, that would be fine. And the long term, they're creating a lot of value over the next several years by rolling out fiber, where they're going to be able to take a lot more market share in broadband. And AT and T is doing something okay. similar. So if we look at both of those names, we think they're they're undervalued. All right. So I just want to be clear. So Amazon potentially coming into this space, is, is it that disruptive? I mean, there's a number of, of mobile and wireless players and broadband players out there already. What would be so disruptive about Amazon potentially getting in? Well, the fears in the article that they would drop pricing down to some really low levels and it would take what's already uh, a very competitive business to make it worse. Right. But the issue is Amazon would need to get a network. The one that's obvious that would be out there to use would be Dish. Um, but their network's not really fully built out, and it'll only be 70% built out by the end of the month. We think that's, that's less of an opportunity. And then when you have the companies flat out denying that that's going to happen, we think the risk of that uh, remains even lower. And so longer term, I think this is just something that's a headline risk, uh, and, and we get past that, and you can focus back on the fundamentals, names like AT&T that are performing well and continue to add subscribers, we think look more attractive. Okay, so those are the names you like. Um, give us a sense of some other names that you like. We've seen some big inflows into tech specifically tied to AI. How are investors viewing this sector? How are you viewing the opportunities? Well, it's definitely an opportunity, but as we always like to say, for telecom, the rate of change is slow. So there's definitely opportunity coming in for AI. It will push demand for all, for all sorts of things across the communication sector. You have to move the data back and forth on the networks. Um, so we think that's definitely a positive, but it's just going to take time. It's not not quite like it is with some of the, the chip names and so forth that more directly benefit, but they're absolutely going to be players. And again, to the extent that you are you are building out fiber and broadband, such as what AT&T and Frontier are doing, you know, we think, again, that's, that's a, that is a beneficiary as people are using those networks more and more.